All right, we got some things in the mail today. Uh, things for our project. So uh, I got these, um, which are, which are. Uh, these are little um, um, ten pin female connectors. So you can use them on boards or what they are really. Uh, what I really purchased them for was. Uh oh, where's my, there it is, was for the motherboard. So um, whenever you need to add something to the motherboard, you use one of those little connectors. So got a bunch of those. All right, got two big bags of them. And got some more connectors here. Oops. Oh, great. Well, they don't have a bag inside a bag, they just have the bag. I'll just show this to you. So it's the exact same connector. It's 10 pin female, but it has long, long leads, long legs, whatever. So we're going to use those for, uh, for like the ALU card. So we'll have the long legs so we can piggyback this board on, and then we can add cards. We can add uh, more cards to the top. So uh, yeah, that's what that's for. So we've got those. And then I got one special thing. Which, um, yeah, I can kind of spill the beans. Um, everybody seemed to like my hex display on my MSI that I built ages ago. And um, uh, I ended up selling that card. Um, and so I don't have any hex displays anymore. So I had to replace them. And uh, I got some hex displays on eBay. Um, they're in the best condition, uh, but we can try them out. I'll wire something up so we can we can try these. But these are the official um, uh, Hewlett Packard parts, uh, and they should be the hexadecimal. They sold two different versions of this. One was BCD, and then one was hexadecimal. So these should be the hexadecimal version. So uh, I'll make a video uh, giving these a go. And maybe clean them up again. They're a little bit scuffed. Might be able, might be able to polish them, but ah, they're probably just fine. Anyway, so why did I buy these? Well, um, our current design has a uh, input module. It has an output module, which is just uh, LEDs. So I'm going to lay out a little board that uses uh, two of these uh, hexadecimal displays. So we'll be able to display a, um, a hexadecimal two-digit number. Um, and create, uh, put that on one of uh, a register, a, a write-only register. Um, so we'll be able to um, um, send data to a port. So this would be an output port. Um, I might also build a front panel. Um, that might be a little ways down the line, but. Uh, it's difficult fitting, um, setting switches here, so I thought I'd have uh, eight true toggle switches and have uh, eight LEDs above those toggle switches and uh, have a hexadecimal display in addition to that and maybe have a uh, an output port. So it's basically an MSI, right? Uh, a little 8-bit MSI. Uh, we'll be able to um, have also... In addition to the eight input toggle switches, we'll have an examine, examine next, deposit, deposit next, single step, uh, things like that. So build a true front panel uh, for this thing after we get it going. Um, so anyway, long long term project. Okay, more parts. Uh, these are digi key parts. Um, so the mailman was loaded down today. Um, Take a look at these. Uh, these are uh, HC 163s, so counters. Uh, decided I wanted some more of these since they're used on the. Um, they are used on the uh, microcode uh, board, uh, the decode board. Uh, they're also used on the program counter, so uh, figured okay, my new design has them also, so. Uh, order some of those. Uh, and 
what we have here is uh, a uh, HC573 uh, octal, octal latch. So again, uh, I'm using these on, oh no. <laughs> oh, I ordered the wrong uh, package. These are interesting. Let's, can we zoom in there? Yeah, we can zoom in there. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I don't think you can see. I don't think you can see these. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, they're kind of cool. I like them, actually. Um, maybe they're the right size. Oh. Maybe they're the right size. No, I think they're tiny. Oh, these are cool. Yeah, maybe I should lay out boards using these instead. Anyway, um, I have to order the other ones, but I do like these. <laughs> okay, and the last thing was you have to be careful with DigiKey because they have a bazillion parts, and make sure you're getting the right ones. So this is why I placed the order with DigiKey. This this is the part that I needed, uh, and it comes in a very long bag. Uh, about a three, three foot long anti-static bag, pretty cool. I guess you can put an entire tube of, uh, of parts in there, but uh, these are the parts that uh, these are the parts that I needed. Uh, these are the. Make sure I read the bag. Uh, these are the HC 154s. These are the four line to 16 uh, 16 decoder. Uh, so um, I didn't have any of those. So now I can build that board. So I'll be building up the uh, decode, decode engine and um, uh, have all the parts that I need now. I am fascinated by this little board, these little parts though. Uh, they have a finer pitch than uh, 50, 50 mils. These have a 50 mil pitch. These are smaller. Uh, these almost look like a one millimeter pitch or something. So yeah, interesting. I have to check that out. Maybe I can uh, try those out on a future board. I don't know if I'll have problems uh, with my um, surface mount oven doing fine pitch like this or not. These are really fine. I didn't know they made this. <laughs>